Hello everybody, uh, today I'd like to talk to you about overclocking a Sapphire Radeon 7950. Um, now it probably doesn't matter if you have a Sapphire, I'm just talking about the Radeon 7950 in general. I have the 3GB Boost Edition, uh, and the cool thing about AMD's 7000 series cards is they actually overclock really well. Overclocking graphics cards used to be something that never really worked that well. You can maybe get like a 5, maybe a 10% boost in performance if you're extremely lucky and if you use water cooling and a bunch of other things. But AMD has really been making a lot of strides lately. So has NVIDIA, but I'm talking about AMD today. So I bought a 7950. And I installed that in my rig, which has an FX 8350 running at the stock of 4 gigahertz. And uh, for testing sake, I started with the stock Radeon speeds of 925 megahertz in the core and 1250 megahertz on the memory. Um, that is the stock speed for the Sapphire Boost Edition. And I ran 3D Mark Vantage. Um, which is a nice benchmark that plenty of people have used before. You know, it won't necessarily translate 100% to every real world scenario. Some games are different, but I just wanted to use a nice, well known, uh, pretty stable benchmark just to show you what type of performance increase you could probably expect if you decide to overclock your AMD card. So, stock, I got 21,314 as my score, and that's running in 720p on the performance preset. It's the default right when you open Vantage, it defaults to this. So, I got 21,314. So, I bumped up the core to 1,000 megahertz, and I got 21,689. So, a tiny little bump, but not really anything to write home about. So, then I bumped the core up to 1,100 keeping the memory at 1250 and now I got 23,910 as my score so that actually is a significant little bump now next I bumped the core up farther to 1150 megahertz and kept the memory again at the stock 1250 so now we're at 24,230 and then I decided to go ahead and bump up the memory so I kept the core at 1150 and bumped the memory up to 1400 and I got a score of 26,176 and this isn't even as far as you can push the card um, it will go farther uh, I did have the power turned up in the uh, AMD performance catalyst uh, options I had you, know, you can turn it up like up to 20% but I, I just did that I didn't do any like aftermarket voltage adjustments or anything um, so this is an extremely easy overclock anyone can do and the card will go a little farther I just decided to stick to a medium high overclock and not try to push it for every single bit it's worth uh, so I got a score of 26,176 up from 21,314 that is a significant difference uh, so from there I decided to see if my CPU was um, throttling my card at all, and that's when the CPU isn't quite fast enough to let the card uh, take advantage of all the power it has on tap. Now my motherboard unfortunately was designed for the last generation of AM3 Plus processors, so it can't hold a stable overclock on a FX part, but it would hold the overclock long enough to run these tests, so I overclocked my CPU to 4.5 GHz. That seems to be a pretty uh, middle-of-the-road overclock for FX 8350s. Some people get them to 5 GHz, um, but 4.5, pretty much all of them can get to, so that's why I decided to go with that. And uh, so at 1150 on the core, 1400 on the memory, and the CPU at 4.5 GHz, it got another nice bump up to 27,950. So that's all the way from 21,000 to almost 28,000. And that's again in 3D Mark Vantage on the performance preset. So that's a really big bump, but does it translate into real world gaming? Well, in a word, yes. Uh, in Battlefield 3, I saw my average frame per second go from the 70s up until the 90s and occasionally over 100. Uh, pretty much every other game that's that's GPU dependent, uh, I saw a nice bump of about 20 to sometimes 25 or 30 percent, which is huge. You never used to be able to do that by overclocking a graphics card. So that pretty much puts the 7950 uh, up with the 7970 or even the 7970 gigahertz edition. And if you have two 7950s in Crossfire, uh, you'd be silly not to overclock them. I mean, the performance gains are absolutely huge. I haven't had any stability problems. Like I said, I could push it a little bit farther, um, but I'm so happy with the way it is now, I don't see any reason to. 
But yeah, if you have a 7950, I highly recommend uh, overclocking it. Just go into your uh, GPU overdrive settings in your AMD Catalyst and you can just bump everything up, go in little steps and test everything with some sort of benchmarking application that's going to push the GPU pretty hard. I do recommend 3D Marks. That's a nice one to start with. Or just play your favorite game and uh, see if you get a performance boost to see if there are any errors or issues. Because if there are, you definitely want to stop uh, playing and bump everything back down a little bit. But if you're careful, if you're safe, you should be able to get a nice 15, 20, maybe 25% boost out of your graphics card in most GPU dependent games. So I would definitely do it.